Hi, I'm Mike McKenna. I am under contract to the Ottawa Senators this coming year. I have seven years of professional hockey experience, uh, some with the Tampa Bay Lightning, some with New Jersey Devils, uh, most of it spent in the American Hockey League. And I'm here today to talk about the Bauer 100 pad. One 100 in the left hand here, I have their stock version. In my right hand, I have my custom version from New Jersey last year. I've been with Bauer since I was 15, so I have a pretty good, uh, pretty good reputation with them, trust in their gear. So we're going to talk about the stock pad first. On the stock pad here, it's a really lightweight pad. It's got great coverage. As you can see, it's a flat, flat face pad. Um, it has this pre-curved S shape to it, which is something that I like. And um, the pad has the ability to cover and seal the whole length of it because of its squareness and the natural shape that it has. And I know for the stock pad here, you have several different options. Um, it comes in a regulated flex. There are several varieties that you can choose from. For my pad, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, I prefer the hard option. I don't like to have hardly any flex in my pads at all, but I like them to have this uh, continuous S shape to them. On the back side of the pad here, you can see that it has a really, really wide knee cradle. Um, allows you to wear your knee guards underneath, and it also has an extended uh, knee wing that's real stiff. Uh, the stock pad also has a removable thigh guard that can fit under your pants. Um, some people choose to wear this, uh, I do not, but many of the kids that I coach do like this feature. Another thing on the stock pad, it offers a variable lacing system, or not lacing, but variable strapping system. So as you can see, these two top, top straps here, you can move down below where your knee is. Okay, some goalies like to have that. Um, some of the first guys I saw doing that, Roberto Luongo, um, Cristobal Uwe, among other guys, and that's something that I've done as well. So, as you can see, there's a lot of options. There's pieces that you can remove, you can leave in, you can customize by changing position to the bottom strap here. And to show you and illustrate that, I'm going to show you some of the changes I have done to mine. And Total Hockey is able to do custom pads, and if you'd like to do something like this, they're plenty capable. Um, as you can see, the back side of my pad is very open. And part of that is because of the rules. We can only have a certain amount of coverage on this side. So on the outside, you can see I have actually cut off those little tabs, and I don't have any straps beside my knee or above it. And the reason being is I like to have the pads sit as flush as possible to the ice and cover up as much area as I can. Uh, my pads are a 34 plus 4 inch, so they have a really high thigh rise um, that meets right up to the, uh, the most I can legally have. So, as you can see, color-wise, they can do just about anything. Uh, Bauer's been really good to me over the years, and I would uh, fully recommend this pad. I've been wearing it the past three seasons, and I will be this upcoming one, too, until a new product hits the shelves. So, any questions, visit TotalHockey.com. Again, I'm Mike McKenna. Thanks for watching. <laughs>